Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are diving into the world of sports today, but not just sports, a very specific and special. We're here with Fallon Fox, retired MMA fighter. How are you, Fallon? Doing good. It's great to be here with you today. It's great to have you. And for those that don't know what MMA means or stands for, it's Mixed Martial Arts Fighter. And uh, that's amazing because I think, you know, at first blush, most folks wouldn't even uh, wouldn't even know that uh, there was any uh, gay, lesbian, transgender folks in that world. So, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that many people would know too much that there's... Um... A lot of there's uh, gay and lesbian and transgender and bisexual people in MMA. They know about some lesbian uh, fighters, of course, but not too much about transgender people, um, except for me. So <laughs> you were, you were which, the first, right? You were the I first. I was the first. Yeah, I was the first uh, transgender MMA fighter, um, and probably I think the third professional uh, transgender athlete in the United States. Wow. Wow. But I think uh, what I've noticed is over time, you've really kept yourself visible and, and in many ways, now that you're especially retired, so you can spend more time as a role model, but uh, trying to help uh, help folks understand, especially during the recent, with the Olympics and uh, Laurel Hubbard, the transgender weightlifter and some of the controversy surrounding that. But I know I know you were very much at the forefront trying to help help get the word out on that. Oh yeah, that was really awesome. I'm so glad that we were able to have a transgender athlete in the Olympics uh, this year. And um, yeah, I mean, she had a rough time um, with media and everything and, and some of the perceptions that people had about her. Yeah. But um, I'm glad that she had community to help pull her through that, that, that time. So, yeah. But I noticed that uh, even over this past year, you've been on various panels and so forth, uh, just kind of talking about transgender sports with others out there. Do you feel like, uh, do you feel like things are progressing and moving in the right direction? Yes, I think so. Um, like I said, in the, like in the Olympics, we had uh, how many how many transgender athletes do we have in this Olympics? Lauren Hubbard, we had track. Uh, well, she didn't make it to the Olympics, but um, because uh, her test, but there are one, two, I think three transgender people in the Olympics this year, which is great. And um, I know that we have some, 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 a little bit to go as far as uh, transgender kids are concerned with uh in sports but i i think that um we're going to win those cases in court and you know things are going to be great better yeah yeah and uh and uh especially back in the day when uh when all this was starting for you yeah you had come out and it was uh it was through a sports illustrated interview yes with uh sid ziggler so that was uh that was kind of the start about how all this how this took move forward oh right yeah uh, actually um, I came out to Sports Illustrated uh, uh, in an article there. Um, I uh, was forced to come out um, because there was a reporter who was trying to find out about my transgender status or, or thought or had some inkling that I was transgender and I was forced to come out. And that was kind of tragic. But, you know, um, in the end, you know, I think it was positive because I was able to compete. And, you know, and now I'm here today talking about transgender athletes in sports. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's great, and uh, and weren't you also just uh, recently at uh, DT, DTLA Proud, which was their kind of their DTLA downtown. Proud? Yes, yeah. that was an, that was an, that was a pretty good experience. I mean, yeah, uh, to be able to be a part of that, um, I was able to be a part of the Dark Light Clothing Booth, <laughs> yeah. my clothing sponsor, which was cool. And I was there um, signing autographs and meeting with people and able to like you know have a little bit of a party. So yeah. Did it feel like people are starting to reemerge from the pandemic now, you know? Yeah, it does kind of seem like that, you know? I mean, I I think um, there could be more of that, you know? But with Delta, we'll see. I mean, I'm trying to think positive here, so. <laughs> <laughs> we all are. <laughs> Anything exciting on the horizon as far as uh, uh, things you're working on or things that uh, we might see you at? Um, we have, uh, there's a biopic being created about, uh, uh, based on my life by Mark Gordon Pictures, and I am a consultant on the film. So, um, just that that picture is in development, so we're working on that. So, stay tuned in the future. So, that's what I'm working on now, and doing speaking engagements and talking to people about transgender athletes. Yeah. yeah. I look forward to seeing all this come together. So, uh, but no, mostly it was, uh, you know, like I said, a lot of folks don't even know. Uh, uh, 
in this whole world that you're in. They, they didn't even know like some of uh, that we were represented there as well. And I think over time, folks are going to start learning more and more that we're everywhere. Oh, yeah. You would never think that a trans and a person would be fighting in the name, would you? But hey, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> you, you represent well. So thanks so much for, uh, you know, sharing a little bit of your story with our audience. And uh, I look forward to being able to see, especially with your movie you're working on, seeing how that comes together. Yeah. Thank you very so much for having me. Absolutely. Matt. So good. Coming back.